After being delayed twice, Afghanistan's presidential elections are due to take place on Saturday. Incumbent Ashraf Ghani's only credible challenger is Abdullah Abdullah. The two ran against each other in the previous presidential elections in 2014. Both claimed victory, leading to a US-brokered national unity government, with Abdullah serving in the newly created chief executive post. But they often haven't seen eye to eye. One thing Ghani and Abdullah can agree on is that the stakes this time are higher than ever. And with the Taliban resurgent, security is the most pressing issue. God willing, we promise to provide security all across the country. We will bring peace with dignity and respect, which will be acceptable to all Afghans. The Taliban openly aims to sabotage the election, and the campaign period has already been marred by violence. In response, the Interior Ministry plans to deploy 72,000 police officers to protect voters. We are responsible for a safe and sound environment for our people across the country to come and vote. But one in three polling stations, many of which are in Taliban territory, will not be open. And there are allegations that some of the closures are designed to deny Abdullah votes in areas where his support base is strong. Security concerns, compounded by voter apathy, are likely to lead to a low turnout. Whoever I vote for, it'll be useless, and the security gets even worse. Who should we vote for? We can't trust anybody. The winner will have to deal with the consequences of the derailed US-Taliban peace talks and ultimately find an accommodation with the Taliban which refuses to negotiate with any Afghan government until the US leaves. Adam Pletz, The Newsmakers.